Hi there and welcome to the project corner. Today is part two of creating a program schedule. In this part, we're going to take a focus on creating templates. Now there are roughly two types of templates. There is a start template and there are procedure templates or scheduling templates. So let's head over to the folder that we actually have for our program schedule. It contains a number of things. So first of all, you have your sub projects, projects that are part of the program. Then you have your templates, then you have your program schedule, and then you have your resource pool. Each of these items are going to be part of a video. The main part for this video is creating those templates, start template and procedure template. Because the fun part about templates is, is that you can reuse them without tempering with the original file. It's a different kind of file icon. This is just a project and this is a template. It has a different extension. It's called an MPT instead of an MPP. Well, MPT stands for Microsoft Project Template. MPP is the abbreviation of Microsoft Project Project. So what would you do with a start template? Well, let's open this one up. And right from the start, what I did is I clicked on the template and it doesn't open the exact template, but it creates a copy out of that. When you now click on save as or save, if you click on save, it will ask you for a new name of that project. There you go, it's now a Microsoft Project project instead of the template. So what would you do with a start template? Well, you are not going to enter tasks in there, not dependencies, no summary tasks, none of that. What you do here is you create your boundaries like views, like custom fields and all that stuff. So let's create a custom field. We're going to go to uh, custom fields and first custom field that I want to create is a lookup table where I'm going to place the, the locations where Projectum is residing for instance. So that's Amsterdam, that's Copenhagen and that's Aarhus. And if I click on close now and I can rename this as locations. And if I click on OK now, I can actually find this by searching for locations. And I can have each of these fields, um, each of these lines filled with any of these values. Now the reason why we're doing this in a template is because we want each and every project that we're going to use within that program to have that field as an option so that we can do reporting later on. So locations of your organization can be one of them. Um, we can also have a KPI value in here and that's a more interesting one. So let's create another one, custom fields. And let's call this uh, budget KPI. Budget KPI, and let's have another lookup table which says green, amber, red, and completed. And now instead of having it being just the values, we're going to have them as graphical indicators. So when this is equal to a certain value, we are going to have a color associated to it. And there's a whole list of items that you can each select. Amber, red, and let's have a nice little flag to state as it is completed. Now let's see how that looks in the insert budget KPI. Here it is. 
and if I click on green now it will show up as a nice little green icon there red and complete it that looks great now other than that you would like to have a specific view readily available in your start template so let's create a new view with those two uh, custom fields and let's see how that looks so here we go we're going to go to view we're going to more views we're going to create a copy of the standard Gantt chart just going to do a really easy view because views isn't the information uh, yeah, views isn't the subject of this uh, uh, video let's call this program Gantt chart program Gantt and let's keep it at entry groups filters show it in the menu yes of course and let's head on over to apply now right from the start we'll see that it is the program Gantt that we're seeing now so let's head back over to views tables normally it's entry what we're going to do is we're going to create a copy of entry and let's call this the program entry program entry I'll also show this in the menu and after resources I want to have locations locations and I would like to have my budget KPI so these two columns will be available let's head back over to the view let's change that more views edit and instead of having it as the table entry I'm going to have it as the program entry I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to click on apply right so right after resource names now locations and budget is here next thing that you can do is you can create a custom cu uh, calendar so what we're going to do is we're going to go to change working time I'm going to create a uh, new year exception and it's an exception that's going to be of course on the first day of the year we're not going to work on that day and we're not going to do that anytime soon so I'm going to put this at a yearly uh, recurrence and I'm going to set that for the next 10 years I might use a different tool in 10 years from now don't see that happening anytime soon but it could be if we need to change this we can easily go in there again into the template later on so center class is a Dutch holiday doesn't give you the whole day free but it gives you half a day free so let's remove this one and let's also set this as a recurring thing each year and let's also set this to 10 years from now so just a few exceptions each task that now rolls into that time period will have to do with this template so now we change the standard calendar for our program and now what I forgot is I would also like to have a resource custom field so let's head over to project custom fields head on over to the resource and I'm going to add a role as being one of the custom fields that we would like to see so I have a uh, lead consultant consultant uh, BI specialist youtuber whatever you like these are the different roles that we can have in the organization so these roles will now be available and as long as you create your resource pool based on the start template that role will also be there now we can add different things here as well so uh, offices would be nice where we could say uh, uh, Amsterdam Copenhagen 
or who's in any of the other offices that we might have within our organization. Now we've seen how it works with the um, the tasks. So if you have a task here, you can add a location to it and you can add a budget to it. Now, of course, that KPI could also be a formula, but we are not going into that today. So resource sheet, just the same thing where we can add a different column here, which was the role and which is the offices. So let's add Dave in here. Dave is going to have the role lead consultant and he is in the office The Hague. Great. So let's remove these because we're not going to use them in this view. We are actually going to create a program resource sheet view. Now we already seen how we created a view so I'm going to speed this up. We're head headed over to views. We're going to we're going to copy it and we're going to call this the resource program view and we're going to add those two and also add them in the table and with that we have our program resource sheet now so let's head back over to our program Gantt, which will be the basis of all our schedules now this is the basic setup for any template we are going to click on file. We're going to head over to save as, browse, and I'm going to save it as a Microsoft project template. And I'm going to do that on the desktop where I have my files. And I'm going to overwrite the existing start template. Yes, I want to replace it. And here we get to see uh, an option to save certain items within the schedule uh, but we don't want actual values of the baseline uh, values we don't want resource rates fixed costs or if it has been published so let's click on save and now this is the start template .mpt file and we're done with the start template so let's create a simple process template that we're going to use for all our sub projects we're going to double click on the start template and it will automatically create a new project for me with that project program Gantt with the fields that we just created before and it now is a normal MPP file. So we're going to change some things. We're going to call this the process template and we're going to enter some tasks here as well. And I'm going to speed this up because you don't need to see this fumbling around with tasks all the time. The thing about a process template is that you want to capture the structure of any projects within your organization. So this is a very basic version of a template, but you will have your own templates readily available within the organization and you want to use those. So let's set the locations. Well, we'll start the project in Amsterdam and then we're going to head over to Aarhus and uh, project completion will be in Copenhagen. Now, right from the start, everything is green, right? So we shouldn't worry about how it is going. So there we, so there we go. We have a simple process template and that's it. We've created a simple start template with custom fields that are now being used within every schedule that we're going to create in the program. We also created a process template. Now, certain amounts of projects might use those process templates, but all of them will be based on that start template because that will have the start, um, that will have the calendar correctly set up, that will have the correct custom fields and correct views right from the start so that there's uniformity in your whole program. So let's head back over to the videos that I have lined up. We have a create the start template and schedule template. Well, that is ticked off. Next time we're going to have a closer look at the resource pool and we might create additional custom fields 
and we're going to pull back into that SAR template and that schedule template. We're going to populate the program schedule and we're going to create some reports and there might still be some more things that I would like to share with you. So with that, I hope you like the second part of the program schedule creation video series. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe because there's more coming uh, from me.